So tell me, tell me how's the uh, how's the experience of the show? A bizarre. Yeah. Uh, I In think a word, this pretty much sums up how my last year's been. It's been so surreal. Uh, I came from obscurity and I was working for an environmental consultancy firm, uh, the production company found me online and said well, they came up with the premise for the show and uh, I mean here we are today. And the premise from the show, how do you think the show differs from other televised dating shows like The Bachelor? Well it's, uh, I mean we've all seen The Bachelor, we've seen Joe Millionaire uh, and it's a combination of the two so The Bachelor is, is great because it's a dating show and everyone, everyone just loves that drama. Throw in the twist that you know there's a bit of deception and you know, we're trying to find out if these girls are gold digs or shallow or if they're genuine ladies and, you know, can fall for a genuine guy. So right. um, it's just, it's appealing to all, all audiences. Did you feel at all guilty, kind of deceiving them? Yeah, I did at times. It, it wasn't easy uh, and I didn't particularly enjoy that aspect of it. But, uh, you know, we were trying to get to a point. We were, we were doing it for a reason. And um, at the end of the day, it's, it's for entertainment. It's lighthearted. Right. So it's all a bit of fun. I feel like in some of the previews, it looks like you're going to be uh, crying. Uh, on, on there camera. is a moment, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I and got emotional. Yeah, well, what's it like to cry on television? What's it like for a guy to cry on television? I'm an emotional guy. You're an emotional guy? I cry whenever guy. I want to cry. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to see some of the real Matt on this show, or is it...? The whole thing's the real me. I just yeah. lie when I answer questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you're telling me the truth today. It's my personality, it's my <laughs> character that the girls get to see. I wanted to get that across. Right. And uh, But if you ask me about my career, I was in the military. A little up, a little okay. Piece, uh, Very good. When, when did you recognize that you had this uncanny resemblance? Uh, I mean, people told me from when I was 16, 17. Yeah. Been the last six, seven years. And besides yeah. making a television show and probably a lot of money off of it, yeah. you know, what, what, how else have you cashed in on your resemblance to? I genuinely have it. It's, it's good. It's a, it's a great icebreaker. It's, yeah. uh, I'm never short of conversation if someone's like, right. oh, what have you done? And you've got an interesting story to tell. But uh, in terms of cashing in, I, I haven't. Never used it to pick up a girl at a bar or meet someone at a party? I mean, if or... they bring it up, like, who am I to say it's <laughs> not? But uh, it's just good fun. What have you learned about yourself in this experience? Never date 12 women at once. Why not? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, you might have done it before, but uh, it's, it's, Doesn't it's, everybody? it's hard work. It's tough work. <laughs> Is there anything that you'd like the world to know about the real Matt uh, you know, I think I think you're going to see a lot of me hopefully on uh, on some coming shows. Um, you know, who knows where this will take me? But uh, just keep watching, and it'll be a lot of fun. Is is there a plan post this show for you? I mean, do you want to be an actor? Do you, I just you want this, to? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, this could be a, its own reality <laughs> show, right? Um, reality cake diving. TV would be great to work in. I'm not sure in an acting capacity, but whether it's hosting or presenting, who knows? It'd be great fun. All right. Well, thank you very much.